Ollie Stevens, a 13-year-old British schoolboy who had autism, a learning difficulty disorder, was stabbed to death in the Tower of Reading, Berkshire, on the evening of January 3rd, 2021, two years ago, by three young defenders. One of them was a 14-year-old girl, the other one was a 13-year-old boy, and another one was a 14-year-old boy. There was debate about how social media played the role in the murder, where the three teenagers who can't not be identified or names for illegal reasons under British law, which is stupid and their names and identity should be made public so that people could know what they look like in the future. However, the secret line of offence was a big factor and part in the case of story because 90% of evidence was founded on the social media app Snapchat, where you can slap and chat with people or mates, put it this way. Despite the young offenders being minors at the time of the violent crime, police strongly believe that the teenagers that was involved and arrested was intentionally targeted Oni and wanted him dead not alive, according to multiple news sources. Thames Valley Police claimed that the teens was arrested less than a week after the stabbing, but that the way the teens did it was unclear whether it was to silence him or just to teach him a lesson. Welcome or welcome back to Psycho Minds. My name is Cody. In this true crime documentary, we will take a closer approach towards Ollie Stephens. The three defenders that was involved in the death of Stephens back when the UK was get out of lockdown during the COVID lockdowns was planning an attack for weeks before he knew what was coming to him. Sadly, it was the case after all. The shocking turn of events will might bend you as well as how it happened and why it will affect the community of Reading for a long, prolonged time for years to come. The 14 year old girl, whose name hasn't been revealed or released to the media and the public eye, we will call her Sky. Apparently, her face was shown on Google, which instead will reveal her face and instead will not blur her face because we don't want to be in trouble with the law. The other two defendants, as previously stated before, were mentioned by the news and court a lot of times about protecting their faces and names for security reasons and concerns that other people could put death wishes on the free people. Three teenagers have been reported carrying knives in public, although this claim hasn't been proven or confirmed by Thames Valley Police. But one thing we know for sure, as it gets a lot worse, Olive Stevens was lured on Snapchat with text messages later with Field that Sky wanted to meet him up at Field near Buck's Bottom Field, where he had a parody the two other teens was waiting action ready to strike him. Most of the evidence, 90% of it came from Snapchat with disturbing images of knives, text messages and voice notes that showed that the three teens had no remorse whatsoever to begin the reign of violence on Ollie, who did absolutely nothing wrong in the first place. According to one of Ollie's friends, who gave an account to the police, he said that Stevens was in a relationship with Skye, who he found it out that she sent nudes to other people for some reason, and he broke up with her to avoid being together again, in spite of her wanting to plot and manipulate Ollie into thinking that he was going to be alone in the fields, but it wasn't the case after all. She lured Ollie into the fields where he would be murdered by the two boys who stabbed more than two dozen times and left for dead. 
that a nurse who was walking her dog in the early hours of the afternoon noticed the boy when it collapsed on the grass whilst the three defenders didn't do nothing and they just laughed at him. Then the nurse quickly went over to Ollie and the three other people then left the scene and fled in case they were wanted by the police. But when they got home, all of them were deleting all of their Snapchat messages and luckily the police managed to recover it later on. It must have been a scary time for Ollie to go outside knowing that he would, would be killed over a girl. How sick in the head do you have to be to do this kind of things? No one. Thank you for watching Psycho Minds. That was the case of Ollie Stevens. And why not click one of our videos to see what we post about?